Hello, and welcome to Psychic Sources podcast series, Love Lost and Found. This podcast will help infuse a jolt of energy into your love life. Our featured advisor, Mackenzie, can be found at www.psychicsource.com under extension 9602. Greetings, and to all you love, from Mackenzie at extension 9602. Welcome to each of you, and blessings will come your way in love once it's supercharged with angel tools and unique ways to grow and maintain or even to manifest a relationship. It's all going to be clear very soon what it is you can do to make your love life the best it can be. When we think on energy and supercharging anything, right? Nothing's better than to put the supercharge into a relationship. Relationships really are a central part of each of us and affect nearly everything we do in life. It's very important to keep our relationships balanced and secure. So often the question comes up in our lives, how can I add more spice to my love life? or gain a love connection. So let's get started with purging any energies that we currently feel within by breathing. Yes, breathing. Oh, take a deep breath and making it obvious to yourself, feel your breath. Sometimes just taking a deep breath can supercharge just about anything, right? Continue breathing slow and sure, and it will help you gain more from this session or any other session. Breathe. All right, so let's get started, sweethearts. I'm sure you're ready to supercharge your love connection and quickly. Yes, when it comes to love, we often get stuck needing answers on how to rev it up by not becoming all brand new, as they say just enhancing your existing relationship where I appreciate the opportunity so much to be able to offer this advice that I feel works in so many unique ways to spice up the current love connection that you have. It will also help you find a love connection you deserve if you do not have one. First and foremost, and without this element, love has such a hard time. But you must, must, must love yourself before you can offer true love to someone else. After all, without the knowledge of what it takes to live without love in a romantic partnership and to love ourselves, isn't it difficult to cultivate more romance? Being alone is a good thing. So if you are, take the time to supercharge your own self and experience the joy And that alone time is divinely intended to help your next relationship be supercharged. Let's start with the seven ways to better supercharge your relationship. And mind you, there are so many more. Number one, mind connecting. And I teach it always in my readings. Saying less and mind connecting more. That's a wonderful way to powerfully communicate words or talking, reading and writing, even dance or music. That's all communicators, right? But nothing stronger than the mind. Think of it, and I say it often, but that's the way that the divine and the angels connect with us in our minds. So it's useful for us to use that same tool and mind connect with those we love. My mother used to say it often, Mackenzie, we don't have to talk to our partners always. We want them to think more about what we're thinking about. It connects them more to our heart. Try it. It's truly one of the most magical ways to connect more to all of our love relationships, our family, and our friends. Number two. Now, I totally get that everyone has their own look or appearance. One other way, though, to intensify your relationship is to put on and keep on your own personal pretty. And of course, this is not the most important part of the attraction, but does work 
to help each of you see more into the soul. You know, the clothing that we wear, the way that we feel about ourselves. It's one way to connect with our partner and actually the first thing, one of the first things that attracted us to our partners. Number three, saying thank you and being gracious and mild heart often. It's so attractive and although, you know, it should go without saying, we often face tough times and do forget the value of gratitude. Yet still being thankful in all, we are commanded. Albeit, if you're a vibrant, less mild person, all the same, just remember to be thankful always. Being yourself in your thankfulness and not just to your partner. Let your loved ones see the consistency of your kind heart. Seeing you being gracious and super kind to others is also very attractive. Number four changing your bedroom space from time to time this is such a super cool way to supercharge because it shows that the romantic spaces in your home mean something to you and thus your partner feels like you're doing it for not just yourself but for them as well it's a very cool and romantic twist on keeping the love alive number five honesty Always a blessing to trust yourself and others too, right? How beautiful it is to relax and trust without fear. So emulating the power of your own honesty will radiate to others. And so watching for other honest ones to draw closer to you in the process, you will discard anything dishonest for the fear of bad karma. Something for you to ponder for sure and something that your partner will respect and that will supercharge any relationship. Number six, it's unplugging times. The same as we have our children away from their devices, we should be as well. Draw closer to each other, spiritually and energetically in all ways, by being together and unplugging the electronics and spending time together, supercharging your relationship. Number seven, speaking our partner's love language and not just our own. That is so important. There are so many times persons just cannot understand or see that their partners actually do love them because they're different in the ways that they show love or they're different in the ways that they sort and process the emotion. So continue speaking the love language of your partner as well, seeking to understand their love language so that they will seek your own. As a bonus way to supercharge your relationships, I wanted to offer you the idea of using mantras again. They can really be super useful in cleansing your energies so that you are prepared to love. You're probably asking how. Well, without question, it will send the right energies into the right direction. Mantras are a valuable tool in helping center your intentions. Developing new and even temporary mantras from time to time can be very exciting, and it can fill an energy so much in your heart that you've never felt before. Mentioning just love one word or phrase over and over again will definitely help you center what you are focused on, and in this case, it's love. This word you choose can be simply the word love itself, or it can be a phrase. Pure love is nourishing and brings happiness to all. Any word or phrase at all on love, which is a divine energy unlike no other, as we know, will work in helping you cleanse and to get the right energy into the right places. We really do have the ability to use love, true love, to improve our lives and to fill our souls and the souls of others. Mantras are an excellent way to do just that. Prayer is also a super great way to supercharge your love life. Here's one I think is particularly helpful for those of you who are grappling with making your love life better. Dear Precious Divine, 
As I come to you this day, I'm broken. I am often not broken, but today I am. I want to, in all my ways, do what you wish me to do, fulfilling my own purpose, as you would wish me to, and to listen to your voice of reason and in love. According to all that I feel about you, you are a happy one. I would love to now ask you to give me some of that same happy energy so that I can pass it to others and then breathe your essence into their lives as well. I want to add life to my love and be able to do all things the way that will serve not just me, but my partner. What brings me the most happiness is being in love and not just loving myself, but sharing that love with my partner and my partner doing the same thing. My own heart will rejoice when we are perfect in your own ways and are solidly together and in true love. Please be with both of us each day as we work our way together more and more and so that we barely then are ever unhappy. And let me be always thankful and look at the good in everything and not thinking even for a moment of protecting myself against bad, except for pushing away the bad. Let me never think on the bad. Let me be forever thankful and gracious. Even thanking the angels each day as they laugh and they giggle and take on our own emotions just like we do as empaths. It brings me real joy to know that the angels are ever present. I have really enjoyed sharing this time with you. So thank you again for listening. This is Mackenzie at extension 9602. And to all you love, God bless. We hope you enjoyed the Psychic Source podcast presentation. If you have questions about love and relationships, please visit Mackenzie or any one of our gifted experts at www.psychicsource.com.